Bill Nye has always amazed us with discoveries that light up the sky. His passion for the final frontier sparks thoughts about the stars. His way of sharing the wonders of space makes even a black hole sound exciting. The universe feels closer with his voice in the room. Now Bill N. speaks on something new and thrilling. The James Webb Space Telescope just sent images that look back in time. More than 13 billion years ago, light began this journey. Today, that light paints the sky with stories we never imagined. These images don't just show beauty in space. They break what we thought we knew about galaxies and time. This telescope, called Webb, is a major leap from Hubble. It captures deep space like never before. Bill N. explains how these views change everything. Our place in the universe suddenly feels smaller and bigger at once. Engineers worked for years on this telescope. Scientists at NASA built it with care and vision. It launched on Christmas Day, rising into the sky with hope. From Earth, we watched its golden wings unfold. Deployment went smooth across the months that followed. In June 2022, scientists looked at new galaxies in the dark. Some galaxies were older and farther than anything seen before. That moment changed our timeline of the stars. These galaxies may have formed just 150 million years after the Big Bang. That's far before Hubble's oldest view. This makes the Webb telescope a time machine in the sky. It rewrites what we thought we knew about early space. Webb doesn't just spot galaxies. It studies exoplanets and stars, giving clues about their makeup and paths. Bill N. explains this as a telescope that listens to planets. It catches the whispers of atmospheres from light years away. We might discover planets that could hold life. Webb might spot rain, clouds, or heat on distant orbs. One image stands out in our minds, the pillars of creation. These clouds in the Eagle Nebula show where stars are born. Hubble saw the pillars in visible light. But Webb looks with infrared, seeing deeper into the dust. Now we can see stars forming inside those massive clouds. Red dots shine like sparks from a space fire. Bill N. explains the process in clear words. The stars aren't burning hydrogen yet. They're still collecting dust and gas. As gravity pulls more matter inward, the core heats. When hydrogen burns, the star truly wakes with fire. This moment sends temperatures soaring to 2 million degrees. It's the spark of cosmic birth within a nebula cloud. The Webb telescope gives us details we never imagined. Exoplanets are also in focus like never before. But most can't be directly seen, they're too far and faint. That changed recently with Webb. In September, we got the first clear image of a planet called HIP 65426b. This planet lives far from its star, 100 times farther than Earth is from the Sun. It's a giant ball of gas. HIP 65426b is nearly 12 times the size of Jupiter. Its size and distance make it easier to capture on screen. A special tool called a coronagraph blocks the starlight. This lets the telescope see the dim planet beside the bright star. Using filters and advanced gear, Webb caught the planet's image. It's a glowing dot in the dark, clear and real. Scientists are excited by what they see. The planet's atmosphere may hold surprises we haven't yet found. Another stunning object in Webb's gaze is the ghost galaxy. Its light is too faint for the naked eye. But with infrared imaging, the galaxy appears in fine threads. It spirals from a glowing center into space. Earlier, optical telescopes caught only its main structure. Now Webb shows hidden shapes like tendrils of hot dust. The gas and dust emit patterns like electric blue fibers. The galaxy's heart beats in silence, shining softly. This image helps scientists study star birth inside galaxies. It also tells us more about how space dust behaves. The telescope's view lets us measure the age and weight of star clusters. We now see how stars evolve in real time. 
One star called Wolf Raid 140 caught attention with its unique rings. It's in the final stage of its life. These stars are massive and wild. They've lost most of their hydrogen and burn hot in the sky. Webb saw strange ripples in the gas and dust around it. A smaller star nearby interacts with the giant, shaping the rings. Each ripple marks a moment of collision and change. The sky tells its story in waves of light. These shapes were hidden until now. Webb shows us how dying stars shape space before they fade. The telescope's main goal is to look at the oldest galaxies ever formed. And it did just that. In December, scientists announced they found four ancient galaxies. They date back 13.4 billion years. That's only 350 million years after the Big Bang. Just 2% into the universe's current age. This pushes the limit of what we thought possible. These galaxies shine from the universe's childhood. Spectrographs on the telescope help verify these distances. By measuring redshift, we confirm their ancient origins. As the universe expands, light stretches. That shift lets us measure how far and how old the light is. Seeing these galaxies was once a dream. Now they're part of our maps. Webb gave us that gift. Next, we dive into WASP-39b. It's a planet in the Virgo constellation, 700 light years from Earth. That means extreme heat. WASP 39b is the size of Saturn and full of gases. Its air holds sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. Webb's spectrographs found these gases clearly. Webb's unmatched vision is opening new space doors. The telescope lets us see galaxies and planets with clarity never imagined. Each captured image feels like a map through time. Light that traveled billions of years paints the sky with ancient stories. Scientists and engineers spent decades building this space machine. Their patience gave us a new eye in the sky. Bill N. reminds us that these aren't just pre images, they are tools that show where stars were born and died. The details from these cosmic scenes help rewrite science. What was once theory now becomes fact in the form of starlight. The telescope doesn't just observe, it reveals. Every layer of dust, every pulse of energy, adds a chapter to space history. With every orbit, Webb sees more secrets unfold. Galaxies take shape, stars ignite, and planets swirl in their glowing dance. The data shows movement and heat in distant skies. We can track how stars form from clouds and then collapse into ash. From one snapshot, entire histories can be read. Cosmic dust becomes a stage, where light plays its silent role. One of Webb's goals is to learn about planetary atmospheres. These thin layers of gas can hide secrets about habitability. Planets like WASP-39b show us how gases shape heat. Sulfur and carbon hint at volcanic action or cloud storms. The way light bends through those clouds tells us their makeup. This space analysis brings us closer to knowing what's out there. Even tiny changes in color can mean big discoveries. A green shift, a red glow, each points to a new chemical reality. We now study hundreds of exoplanets with new tools. Each telescope pass captures unseen details of distant sky bodies. Bill N. shares how filters bring focus to faint planets. These tools let us isolate signals and cut through star glare. The silence of space hides a chorus of activity. Every planet has weather, flow, rotation, and movement through the galaxy. Webb has also helped map structures in older galaxies. Spiral arms, dense cores, glowing halos all come into focus. One example is the Ghost Galaxy again, this time revealing new lanes of dust. It shines like a wheel in darkness. The fine filaments running through it were invisible before. They connect stars like veins of fire through the night. This shows us how star clusters form in groups. It also shows how stars influence their dusty neighborhoods. In deep starfields, the telescope sees through the noise. Where older scopes saw blurs, Webb shows structure and flow. 
the clearer we see, the more we understand shape and time. Galaxies now feel alive, with motion and layers. Light from one star may tell us about death or rebirth. The colors in space speak in tones of physics and energy. A distant star named Wolf Rayet 140 displayed unique patterns. Over billions of years, shape and form twist and stretch. Some galaxies collide, some grow slowly, others fade. All of them leave behind traces that Webb can catch. By watching many galaxies, we begin to find patterns. Formation, collapse, rebirth, all become visible in the dark canvas. Infrared vision helps pierce through thick dust. What looked empty now glows with secrets and forms. Webb's tools don't just look, they calculate. With redshift, we find out how far a galaxy really is. The further the redshift, the older the light. It's a timestamp, built right into each image. Galaxies once thought unreachable now feel near. What was science fiction has become data on a telescope screen. The images from December still echo through research. Four ancient galaxies told us what the universe looked like at just 2% age. That's a toddler version of our current cosmos. Seeing it makes us rethink how quickly galaxies formed. Before Webb, we had no idea they formed that early. This changes textbooks, lessons, and future studies in space classrooms. These ancient galaxies may also hold early stars. Some could be the first stars ever to shine in space. We might someday see their explosions, or their collapse into black holes. The beginnings of everything are just coming into focus. Even the air between stars has secrets. Webb tracks how particles move through that near-empty space. The telescope sees how starlight bends around particles. This reveals mass, temperature, and flow across the dark. Dust that was once ignored now becomes a character. It shapes light, forms stars, and filters what we see. Even empty regions aren't truly empty. Web shows movement, waves, echoes from far-off events. Every data point tells a story of distance, of power, of birth. The sky becomes a record of everything. Bill N. reminds us this is only the start. Webb's mission will last years, maybe decades if we're lucky. What we learn in this time will fuel generations. Students born today may use this data to reach the stars. The path to these discoveries wasn't easy. Teams worked for years through delays, problems, and hope. Now the results glow in every image shared. The black of space lights up with the work of human minds. And beyond the stars, we still don't know what waits. But Webb lets us search with more vision than ever before. Its view reaches across galaxies, through time, into the past. Light tells us stories we're only beginning to hear. Every new photo could be the key to the next question. Every answer sparks ten more for space scientists. Our understanding grows with every orbit it completes. What we thought we knew about space changes weekly. So as Webb floats beyond Earth, it carries our hopes. Each signal it sends is a step toward the unknown. Wonder keeps us watching the stars. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.